Recently, I returned from Sweeten's Cove from a trip to learn about the Buck Club, a new and exciting course project being developed by PJ Tour Pro Zach Blair and his partners Rob Collins and Tad King from King Collins Golf Course Design. The Buck Club is Zach Blair's bold vision for a unique golf course in his home state of Utah. He's designing the course in partnership with Rob Collins. When uh, people first come to Sweden's Cove, what's the first thing you tell them? Well, we just tell them that we've got a very fun and interesting and playable golf course that uh, is unlike anything else they've probably ever played. There's no doubt about that. You guys are working on the Buck Club design. What's some of your uh, favorite things that have been in, in that process so far? Well, it's been a lot of fun working with Zach. He's got a ton of amazing ideas, and you know, a lot of the he and I love the same type of characteristics in, in golf and golf architecture. Uh, very playable course, but if you get in the wrong position, you, you can pay a price. And um, there's a ton of flexibility in the routing. There's probably 100 plus holes in, in 18 holes, you know, hidden cross country holes. Um, it's a beautiful piece of land and, and also it's fully reversible too. So there's a lot of flexibility built into it and it's just a really, really cool hole. It's, it's really, really cool course with just kind of one great hole after another. Can't wait to get into it. That's awesome. So we're out here this week and we've got about 50, 60 guys. This has now been, I don't know, there's been a handful of these types of events that have yeah. ha happened out here. What do you think has made this place such a cult phenomenon that people from all over the world come here? It's, it's amazing. I mean, I, you know, four years ago, Patrick and I were the only two people working out here. Um, and we were so far removed from where we are now. It's, um, it's really remarkable. I mean, I think that the dynamic of the great golf course versus the, the Spartan uh, accommodations at the top of the hill have created a really interesting dynamic and people want to come check it out. And it's just got a, it's had a great buzz and um, a great regional and, and national following that, that we're incredibly grateful for. I mean, without, without that support, we wouldn't be around. Give me uh, 30 seconds on the future of Sweetens Cove. We've got a very exciting future. We, uh, you know, are going to continue to try to appeal to a regional market. We get probably 70% of our play from outside the Chattanooga area, 75% maybe. Um, Nashville, Knoxville, Atlanta. Um, so we want to build a modest but cool clubhouse that kind of reflects our origins, but is nothing outlandish, but a great place to hang out and have a beer and a, and a great hamburger. And we want to build some cabins and, and have people be able to come out here and, and spend the weekend because Sweden's Cove's made for weekends like this. You know, people coming from all over the place and just coming out and playing golf. That's what it's all about. What's your one word that you would use to describe this place? Hmm. It's soulful. It's, it's got a it's got a unique heartbeat to it. It's not like any other place I've ever seen. Soulful is indeed a great description for Sweden's Cove, and if the Buck Club turns out to be anything like its mother course, it's certain to be one of America's best and grandest new developments in the golf industry. To raise awareness and to raise capital for the project, Zach Blair hosted over 50 players from all over the country together for an event he called The Ringer. That's what brought us together at Sweetens Cove for a few days of golf and fellowship under a beautiful Tennessee sun and a few days of wonderful uh, times making new friends and new memories at a golf course that's really unlike anything else in America. It's pretty incredible that a golf course that hasn't even been built yet can garner such attention from golf influencers and other personalities from all around the country. So much so that they were willing to come all the way to Tennessee to a nine-hole golf course for a few days uh, with each other. And it is something really to behold. The laughter, the joy, the new friendships that were made was all something that all of us who were at the ring will never forget. And the golf was pretty good too. We spent time together talking about the golf shots we hit reminiscing about other trips we've taken, and getting to know a golf course that we all just absolutely adore, even when it makes us look a little foolish from time to time. Sweetens Cove is just one of the most amazing places I've ever been. I've been now 
three times to visit the golf course and to go there for the ringer was just the best weekend I've ever had in golf. We swung away. We had great times. We got to know each other and we got to know a project that's probably going to be one of the most important built in golf in the next decade. I can't wait for the Buck Club to get here, but until then we'll keep coming back to Sweetens Cove to get just a little bit of taste of what it's going to be like. I've got a feeling we'll all be back to Sweetens Cove real soon, and it probably won't be too long until we're chasing daylight off into the distance at a nice evening at the Buck Club. Until then, this is Jay Revel. Keep swinging, friends.